into these spots and then they can't get out. And I'm free, free! What? to Mr. Arizona. Oh, dang it. No one kill me, no one kill me, no one kill me. Clearly picked the wrong lane here, didn't I? God, this is horrible. Is this just Monterey Bay traffic? Like on the normal? Nice. We are near UC Santa Cruz, which must mean we are near Santa Cruz, which means we might have cell phone reception and I should probably stop and let my friend know where I am. Santa Cruz near UCSC. That is one of the schools I considered going to when I was deciding what college I wanted to attend. They have a good program for computer science, which is what I was thinking I wanted to do at the time but I felt it was too far away from home. And actually, I don't think I got accepted here anyway, so it ended up not mattering what I wanted. The school didn't want me. New Mexico! San Francisco, 76 miles. I should be good. I just saw this little turnoff for something called Coast Road, so I turned back to explore it a little bit because I didn't feel like I could in good conscience drive by something that sounds so interesting and beautiful without stopping by to check it out. Might end up being boring. But I gotta find out. Ooh, this little bit of road reminds me actually a lot of uh, some Amorta 13's videos. Kind of, it's very lush. It's a very small road with little residences on the side. Yeah. Nothing too exciting, but a nice, nice little area. It's cool. Just a little loop. It wasn't a waste of time. But I'm gonna tuck a little bit just because of the cold. The cold alone is wrecking me up. I'm glad I stuck with Route One. I was. Glad I stuck with Route 1 because when I was back near UC Santa Cruz, I was considering just bailing on PCH and taking a, an inland freeway to get to San Francisco more quickly, but this is a lot prettier, a lot more relaxing. I think it was a better choice. It's easy to get spoiled by this thing, isn't it? This ocean. Keeping my eye out for Highway 84 because I want to take that up over the mountains into San Francisco and enjoy a little bit of more, a little bit more of a twisty road on my way in. But then I'll take freeways the rest of the way. So I'm not going to take PCH all the way up to the. Well, I might take the Golden Gate Bridge across later, but for now, I'm just sticking with, uh, I'm gonna end up back on freeways because, well, it's, you know, time's a waste and, and it wouldn't really be a waste to, to ride PCH, but I do have people waiting for me. Maybe one day I would, I would like to do all of PCH straight all the way from the bottom of Mexico, like San Diego all the way up through LA, Santa Barbara, everything, up out of California, you know, the whole way. But that's going to require more money, more planning, more free time, more than anything. I mean, this trip isn't that expensive that I'm going on. I mean, motorcycle gas is super cheap. Well, it's the same price as car gas, but you use it half 
half as fast. If you want to do a PCH trip on the cheap, you have to plan it out kind of carefully. Uh, doing it on a motorcycle is great because the gas is a lot cheaper. But if you want to, you know, if you want to camp, if you want to use campgrounds as your accommodations, you need to plan out how you're going to carry your stuff and you need to make reservations for your campgrounds a long time in advance because campgrounds fill up quick. I remember I, I signed up for the reservation for the campground I ended up staying at in San Simeon on I think Tuesday and I stayed there on Thursday and when I got there it was already full and when I originally signed up there were uh, 16 spots available and then after I signed up, when it refreshed the site, they were already down to 14. And then when I got there, it was down to zero. And what's more, San Simeon was the last campground available on the coast. All the other ones were full already. They have what they call first come first serve campgrounds, where you just show up and hope that one's available. But a lot of times, other people will have already gotten them by the time you show up and then you're just kind of stranded. You don't have anywhere to, to sleep that night. Unless you want to try just pitching up on the side of the road and hoping the cops don't come and hassle you. So it can be tough if you don't plan it out and get reservations made in advance, but camping's definitely a, a whole hell of a lot cheaper than hotels. And it's a lot more fun, I think. It's more fulfilling you get more a sense of accomplishment out of it. Man, a lighthouse? I wonder if you could go out to it. I have to investigate. Cool. Lighthouses are nifty. camera dump at the lighthouse here. How do I turn my head so you can see the lighthouse? Had to do an emergency dump at the lighthouse. It's true, the photo isn't the only Oh god, never mind, that joke isn't, isn't right. Oh god, this truck is barfing. It's a whale loud or something. Yeah. I don't think it's barfing a whale. It's just got like a misfire in it or something. Yucky.
guess my real question is, why do all the bugs hit me in the face? I don't have any bugs on my chest or on my arms or, you know, on the bike. Like, the bike doesn't have any. They're not on my gloves. There's just, like, they're all on my face. Why are they all on my face? What a gorgeous piece of road. This is Highway 84 between the California coast and San Francisco headed through a, what appears to be a beautiful and lush forest. I thought it was like a mountain pass we had to go over to get to San Francisco, but apparently it's forest. Either way, they built this twisty road through it, so I'm happy. Wow, that's a huge tree! Man, they're beautiful though, aren't they? Huge! Well, these ones aren't, but those ones. These are huge! Huge, huge trees! Coniferous trees! Sorry, PCH, I have forsaken thee. This is gorgeous. The downside to riding a motorcycle in the forest is, man, there sure is a lot to hit if you go down. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Look at how big those things are! Should I go back and have a picture? I probably should. Oh my goodness! It says no parking. Can you tell how much I care? <laughs>